Hi dear students, let me take a bit of your time to introduce to you my fellow members. Here they are. Good day everyone, I'm Angelica P. Gonzalez. And I'm Princess Nicola S. Lugod. And I'm Benbea Beatrice S. S. Lapitan. And I am Maria Culeo Javier. And I'm Nadine Castro Macalinao. And I am Jessel Lapigay. Milica Grace Ramirez Domingo. And I'm Brian Carlos C. Flores. In this video, you will be able to define groundwater, comprehend the process of groundwater restoration, explain how water can be contaminated and how complicated for it to be purified again, enumerate the different sources of groundwater. Facts! Did you know that 2.38 million trillion gallons of world fresh water is groundwater? That is about 30%. So before we jump into our main discussion, let us have a mini game. Before we proceed to our main game, these are the rules. Kindly comment down your answer to our comment box. I will be only giving you 5 seconds to write it down. And number 3, honesty is the best policy. Please do not copy your classmates' answers. Are you ready? Let's get started! Time is up, and here is your next question. Time is up, and here is the next question. And lastly, time is up, here is your next question. The mini game is now over, and it's time for you to listen with our video discussion, okay? Okay, for the first part of this video, I will going to introduce to you or discuss in a basic way for you to understand it easily if what is groundwater. Groundwater is a fresh water from rain or melting ice and snow that soaks into the soil and is stored in the tiny space or pores between rocks and particles of soil. Groundwater accounts for nearly 95% of the nation's fresh water resources. It can stay underground for hundreds and thousands of years, or it can more be surfaced and help fill rivers, streams, lakes, ponds, and wetlands. Groundwater can also come to the surface as a spring or be pumped from a well. Both of these are common ways we get a groundwater to drink about 50 percent of our municipal domestic and agricultural water is supply is ground water so sabi dito na ang ground water ay ang fresh water or ang normal water na iniinom natin or nakikita natin galing ito sa ulan na kung saan pumupunta sa lakes or sa rivers and at the same time sa lupa and next is na kukuha natin siya or naiinom natin siya, nagagamit natin ang groundwater or ang fresh water by the use of sa pagtitimba or sa mga deposit. And next, um, sabi din dito na 50% ng municipal, domestic, lalo na ang agricultural ay nakikinabang sa groundwater or fresh water. Groundwater is stored in tiny open spaces between rock, sand, soil, and gravel. It is also served as filtration device. Porosity is the ability of the rock materials to hold water. How well loosely arranged rock hold water depend on the size of the rock particles. For example, sandwich has a uniform or magkakamukhang particles tend to absorb a lot of water because the larger the surface area, the easiest for the sand to hold into water. So, it has a higher water holding capacity. On the other hand, rock with a uniform size or yung hindi magkakamukhang size tend to lose water since smaller rock compact together to form one solid level. Therefore, there is no available space for the water to flow. Also, rock are solid and waterproof, giving a water a hard time to pass through. So, water won't flow smoothly and get stuck in the upper layer of the rock, which are the sandy layer. There is a pattern like the shape of the rock affect the duration of the water. For example, round rock tend to stick tightly together so there is no enough space for the water but for the spiky or the edgy rock tend to hold a lot of water since it is unable to pack together giving space for water to stay still. 
Groundwater is found in two zones, the unsaturated zone, which is the immediate below the land surface containing water and air in the open spaces or the pores. The saturated zone, a zone which all the pores and rock fractures are filled with water, underlies the unsaturated zone. The top of the saturated zone is called the water table. It is shown in the diagram 1. The water table may just below or 100 of feet below the land surface. Groundwater can become contaminated in many ways. If surface water that recharges an aquifer is polluted, the groundwater will also become contaminated. Contaminated groundwater can then affect the quality of surface water at discharge areas. Groundwater can also become contaminated when liquid hazardous substances soak down through the soil into groundwater. Contaminants that can dissolve in groundwater will move along with the water potentially to wells used for drinking water. If there is a continuous source of contamination, Entering moving groundwater, an area of contaminated groundwater called a plume can form. A combination of moving groundwater and continu continuous source of contamination can therefore pollute very large volumes and areas of groundwater. Some plumes at Superfan sites are several miles long. More than 88% of current Superfan sites have some groundwater contamination. So why cleaning up groundwater is so hard? Cleaning up contaminated groundwater often takes longer than expected because groundwater systems are complicated and the contaminants are visible to the naked eye. This makes it more difficult to find contaminants and design a treatment that either destroys the contaminants in the ground or takes them to the surface for cleanup. Groundwater contamination is the reason for most Superfund's long-term cleanup action. Diagram illustrates the groundwater treatment in action. So in this lesson, we also have the sources of groundwater. First, we have the water table wherein it is the underground boundary between the soil surface and the area where groundwater saturates spaces between sediments and cracks in rock. Water pressure and atmospheric pressure are equal at this boundary. So the water table is also called the groundwater table, wherein it is the upper level of the underground surface na kung saan ang mga lupa or yung mga rocks ay permanently saturated or pospos ng tubig. Pinaghihiwalay nito ang zone ng tubig sa lupa na nakalagay sa ilalim nito mula capillary fringe o zone of aeration. So, that so-called uh, zone of aeration is the region between the earth's surface and the water table. And the main uh, components of that region is the rock and the soil. And then the aeration or zone of aeration occurs kapag yung air and water ay nagmix or kaya nagkaroon sila ng close contact to each other. But the question is, how was the water table formed? So for you to know, uh, ang water table ay nabubuo kapag yung rainwater and then water from other bodies of water in the earth ay nag-seep down into the soil and then na-stuck sila doon or parang na-stored sila doon as groundwater. And then yung passing down ng tubig na yon ay through the soil ay tinatawag natin na infiltration. So the next slide, as you can see in the illustration, the soil surface above the water table is called unsaturated zone. So, when we say unsaturated zone, dito ay yung parehong oxygen at tubig ay pumupuno sa mga gaps and spaces sa pagitan ng sediments. And yung unsaturated zone na tinatawag natin ay tinatawag din or kinala din bilang zone of aeration na kung saan Dahil ito sa pagkakaroon ng oxygen sa lupa na na-explain ko na kanina. So, sa ilalim ng water table ay ang saturated zone wherein pinupunuan niya ng tubig lahat ng gaps and spaces between sediments. And yung saturated zone na tinatawag na yun ay nakagapos or bounded siya sa ilalim ng impenetrable rocks.
Another source of water is the springs. A spring is a water resource formed when the side of a hill, a valley bottom, or other excavation intersects a flowing body of groundwater at or below the local water table, which, which the subsurface material is saturated with water. A spring is the result of an aquifer being filled to the point that the water overflows onto the land surface. They range in size from intermittent seeps, which flow only after much rain, to huge pools flowing hundreds of millions of gallons daily. Um, spring or bukal in Tagalog is the point where water flows from the aquifer out to the earth's surface and spring water is usually found in the mountain slopes or in volcanic areas and sinasabi rin na yung mga bukal or the spring waters um, meron silang mga mineral na pwedeng makagamot ng ilang karamdaman katulad ng sakit sa balat at ng rayuma. And the amount of water that flows from the spring is depends on many factors including the water pressure in aquifer and the size of the spring basin and the amount of rainfalls at according sa EPA or the Environmental Protection Agency, yung spring water at o yung bukal ay safe naman sila na inumin. Springs are not limited to the earth's surface and as I have said, spring water usually found in the mountain slopes or in a volcanic areas na kung saan yung mga bukal or spring water na malalapit sa vulkan ay maiinit at sa iba naman ay malalamig. And recently, scientists have discovered hot springs at depth up to 2.5 kilometers in the oceans, generally along mid-ocean rifts. The hot water over 300 degrees Celsius coming from this spring is also rich in minerals and sulfur, and it is the result of a unique ecosystem where unusual and exotic sea life seems to thrive, like feather star, glaucus atlanticus, mantis shrimp, and scotoplanes. Hot spring, also called thermal spring, is spring with water at temperatures substantially higher than the air temperature of the surrounding regions. Most hot, most hot springs discharge groundwater that is heated by shallow insertion of magma, molten rock, in volcanic areas. So, where do we find hot spring? There are different places that we can find hot spring, and there is a uh, similarities between be, between the places and the and the, the similarities includes the environment within that place i observed that every place with a hot spring are near to a volcano and what is geysers geyser is a spring characterized by an intermittent discharge of water ejected turbulently and accompanied by steam it is generally found in regions of young volcanic activity. Surface water percolates downward through the rocks below the Earth's surface to high temperature regions surrounding a magma reservoir, either active or recently solidified but still hot. Ito nga yung bukal na nagbubuga ng tubig na kadalasan matatagpuan sa mga regions of young volcanic activity. And also, geysers is the rare kind of hot spring that is under pressure and erupts, and sending jets of water and steam into the air.